Fox 4 News confirms the animal cruelty investigation that started with a raid yesterday at a Keller home is now expanding. More than 100 dogs and cats were seized from what rescuers describe as dangerous conditions. Today, police confirmed another house in Fort Worth is part of the investigation. Fox 4's Phil Alvarado live in Keller with the latest. Phil. Clarice, all those dogs and cats were taken from this home in Keller uh, on Monday. Since then, investigators tell us that they've learned that the owner of those animals has been in trouble before with the Humane Society. 111 dogs and cats seized from a home in Keller are being cared for and examined by the Humane Society. Keller police say what they find will determine if they'll file animal cruelty charges. That question did come up. Why didn't we arrest her that day? We knew there's a lot of evidence still to collect, a lot of information to collect from the main society. And once we have all the details and all the facts together, at that point, we would move forward with any type of criminal um, arrest. Keller police got wind of animals being hoarded at this home on Arnita Avenue after neighbors complained of a bad odor. Police say they're investigating a relative, not the homeowner. <laughs> The Humane Society says animals have been seized from the same person three different times, including her home in an upscale neighborhood in North Fort Worth. Keller police say they're working on that with Fort Worth authorities. I have worked with this individual in the past as far as uh, hoarding and keeping uh, numerous animals at that location. Frustrated neighbors remember one raid in 2013. It's become a kennel. We have a beautiful neighborhood um, with a kennel right in the center of it in a, in a beautiful home. Authorities are also investigating reports that someone came to the Fort Worth home and removed other animals late Tuesday night after the raid in Keller. Uh, whatever animals were left in the house now have been loaded and taken wherever she took them, um, but they're no longer here. Another resident says she used to be friends with her neighbor. I told her we don't hate you, but we hate what you're doing. I mean, they weren't always this way. The Keller Police say they will continue working with other agencies on this case. Now, we've tried to reach out to the owner of those animals. So far, no response. Clarice? All right, Phil, thank you.